Hey guys, Tamp Tech, and this is three common fixes to fix any kind of read disk errors or problems you have on your PS3 Ultra Slim. Now the first thing you want to do is open it up and wipe down the optic lens, either with something soft like a microfiber cloth or a Q-tip. Don't spray anything directly onto the lens. You can damage the lens. All right, to enter service mode, you want to hold down the power button until you hear two quick beeps. That's the one beep indicates to reset the HDMI video settings and then the quick two beeps is the service menu. Now if it turns off, don't worry, that's part of the method. Hold the power button down again, wait for that one beep which resets the video HDMI settings and then the two quick beeps is the service mode. Alright so Go ahead and plug in your USB cable and hit the center button. And then make sure you back up all your game saves on a USB drive stick before you go ahead and attempt this because it's going to delete all your settings and factory restore the PS3 back to brand new. So under game, go to saved data utility, select the game save by hitting triangle and copy. It usually fixes my issues, any kind of like software issues I have. And yes, it fixed my issue with the read disk errors. I was able to play DVDs and CDs but I wasn't able to play um, Blu-ray movies and you know my video games. Now if the software fix fails probably most likely a hardware problem so replacing the optic drive may be the best solution. The link is in the video description below. You really just need a regular screwdriver and a micro flathead screwdriver to remove the security screws and just pop off the feet on the bottom and remove the screws. Now the security screws are a little bit trickier. You can use a torque bit or you can use micro flathead screwdriver and just wedge it in. It, it's just as easy. Move the hard drive. And you see me right here using a micro flathead screwdriver to remove the security screws. Yeah, real high security of PS3. Pop off the plastic panels and then unscrew those screws as well regular just screws using a Phillips screwdriver. And the top should come off easy. If the top doesn't come off then most likely you use the screw. Now before tugging on that optic drive make sure you don't rip the ribbon cable connections. Just pull on the blue handle and it pops right off. Yeah, you have to lift up that latch to remove that ribbon cable connection. Just be careful of that. There's a code on the sticker. Just make sure you, when ordering, you match up the code on the sticker on the optic drive. Insert the new optic drive. Make sure all the connections are secure or else it won't work properly. down on the latch. Now any dust in the fan. Cover back on. Security screws back in. Pop on the plastic covers. Put in the hard drive. Put the cover over the hard drive. Put the screws in on the bottom. And clean out any vents that you see that could, you know, too much dust in. Clean out any dust in the vents. Let's go test it out. Yep, it's working. Thanks guys for watching. 
If you liked this video and it helped you out and it was informative, give me a thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Just click on that subscribe button. And if you know anyone that's having issues with their PS3, just click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G Plus and help someone out.